been a while since I've vlogged, but I think I'm going to do one today because it's the most important day today. Um, we've got a game against Richmond, at Richmond. Um, Richmond's my old club, as I've said in my past videos. It's going to be a massive game today. They're going to be up for it, we're going to be up for it. But the only problem is, um, I got concussed and I can't play. Uh, yeah, so in the last game I played against Litchfield, I hit my head was returning back to play and then I was cleaning and I hit my head again on the side of a chair and then I didn't pass the scat test so unfortunately I can't play today which is a real bummer but I'm on my way down there now to help out with anything they need me to basically be water girl um, and just to support my team Harlequins um, it's always going to be difficult when you end up going back to your old club and you know the situation wasn't the best and people are still not happy with what happened but it was a choice I made was to, to leave and and I'm happy with the choice I've made I'm not I don't regret it it's the best thing I've ever done so I'm just walking to the station now and let's see what today brings <laughs> Before I explain a bit more about what, what concussion is, basically at the beginning of the season, all athletes would have to do a scat test. So that, that, so that our information was logged on a computer of what level we're at. Throughout the season, if we got hit on the head at any point, we would then refer back to the data that we, we had given them at the beginning of the season. And if we weren't the same, you then fail your scat test. That basically means you would have to have two weeks off of no activities, just complete rest. And then you would do a return to play, which will uh, you would have to do like a, a little jog or a little bike ride for 10 minutes stop see how your head felt and then you would progress it every single day until you're back playing so as I said I hit my head the last game I can't remember what day it was but I hit my head in the literal game um, then I had two weeks well I was supposed to have two weeks of not doing anything um, but on the 1st of January, I was cleaning and I whacked my head again. I then went to uh, see my physio last Tuesday, or was it just Tuesday? Tuesday just gone. And I did my scat test and I passed everything apart from the last bit was to remember what she told me at the beginning. And I could only remember two words where it's out of five. Um, so I failed my concussion test. So. I've now had to start from the beginning another two weeks of me not being able to do anything um, which I understand because I don't want to have any brain damage you know when I finish my career um, but it's just a bit frustrating especially you know missing the Richmond game and possibly missing the Saracen game next week they're both my old clubs um, so it is a bit it's a bit frustrating but as I said I'm on my way there now I'm just at the station just waiting to get onto the overground straight to Richmond from I'm at Highbury and Islington at the moment um, so yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm gutted, but I'm going to go down and support, be the water girl, do whatever they want me to do to support my team, because as I said, we are actually doing really well at the moment. We are third in the table, um, and we should be able to finish in the top two if we can, but if we can just stay where we are, it it basically means that we'd be in the playoffs, um, playoffs um, which is a top four teams in the Premiership. Um, it started last year, before it was whoever won the Prem would just be at the top of the table and then you've won. But now they've changed it like the men, the top four teams play off against each other and then whoever wins those games then play each other at the, the final which hopefully will be on the stoop and hopefully again it will be live on Sky because last year it was live on Sky 5. And it was just a really great, um, it was a great, uh, get a great day and I just loved it and we did so well to, to win to beat Saracens in the final um, as I said it's really hard it's always hard playing your old teams especially Saracens when we didn't leave on the best you know we didn't part on the best best terms I should say yeah um, but with Richmond it was different I don't have an issue with Richmond but 
some players do and that's what the problem is but as I said I'm happy with the decision I've made and that's it it's done now the season's done well the season's started I should say and I'm really happy with the you know what I've decided I'm going to do and I guess they're just gonna have to get over themselves I mean as I said I'm getting old I want to be able to you know make the women's game get better and bigger and if that means I'm gonna have to move to a new club with a new settings with new players new coaches and everything that's what I'm gonna do to make the women's rugby make women's rugby better so I'll talk to you guys when I get to it bye guys So there's about five minutes to go until the game kicks off, so I'll keep you posted of what's going on. <laughs> Ooh, oh, so close. Um, it, it was always going to be a hard game here, you know, it's my old club, but Harlequins did amazingly and I'm just so happy that we actually did it. Just about to leave now, it's night time, so I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> Having to do a different route because uh, there's a strike in central London at the moment, so all trains running in zone one have uh, now been stopped. So it's a bit of a nightmare, but we're on our way home now. It's going to take a bit longer, but, you know, at least we won today, and that's all that matters, and I'm really happy with the outcome. Hi, so what an amazing end to the day. I finally got home. It took a bit of a while, as I said, because the trains were on strikes, but I'm home. I'm just so happy for my Quinns team. You know, 50-17 is a massive score on a really good team, and we just outplayed them. It was absolutely amazing. Just the best thing that could have happened to us because you know we've been through quite a lot but you, you wouldn't know the ins and outs of what's happened but we played as a team you know there's a lot of people saying things about us when we went there and we just showed them by playing rugby what type of players we are we played on the pitch we said nothing off the pitch on the pitch we showed people what we can do and we went away with a win today so it's a great start to the, the next part of the season after Christmas and we're on this, we're, we're this building at the moment we are on 39 points we're still third in the table but we've got another five games to go so we never know what's going to happen so bring on Saracens next weekend I'll see you guys later